Welcome to our channel, DMV Permit Practice Test. Visit our website for the ultimate California DMV cheat sheet, online practice tests, and a free road signs cheat sheet to help you easily pass your DMV exam, guaranteed. Now let's begin. Question 1. In which of the following scenarios should your wheels not be pointed straight ahead? Option A when waiting to make a left turn at a traffic light. Option B, when parked on a hill or sloping driveway. Option C, when parked on the side of a level roadway where there is no curve. The correct answer is Option B, when parked on a hill or sloping driveway. Question 2. When driving in fog, rain, or snow, use. Option A, low beams. Option B, high beams. Option C, fog lights only. The correct answer is. Option A, low beams. Question 3. If a truck or bus is making a right turn where you also need to make a right turn, you should. Option A. Quickly turn before the truck or bus is able to. Option B. Wait until the truck or bus turns before you turn. Option C. Squeeze between the truck or bus and the curve. The correct answer is. Option B. Wait until the truck or bus turns before you turn. Question 4. You should increase the distance between your vehicle and the vehicle ahead when you Option A. Are following a small passenger vehicle. Option B. Are being tailgated by another driver. Option C. Are driving more slowly than the posted speed limit. The correct answer is Option B, are being tailgated by another driver. Question 5. When driving under snowy or icy conditions, Option A, it is safe to use your cruise control. Option B, make speed and directional changes more gradually than you would otherwise. Option C, drive as you would under normal conditions. The correct answer is Option B. Make speed and directional changes more gradually than you would otherwise. Question 6. If you approach a traffic light with a red signal and a police officer directs you to go through the intersection without stopping, you should. Option A. Stop until the light turns green. Option B. Go through the intersection without stopping. Option C. Come to a complete stop before proceeding. The correct answer is Option B. Go through the intersection without stopping. Question 7. When being followed by a tailgater, which of the following will help you avoid being hit from behind? Option A. Merging into another lane. Option B. Decreasing your following distance. Option C. Changing lanes frequently. The correct answer is Option A. Merging into another lane. Question 8. A broken yellow center line means that Option A. Passing is not permitted. Option B. Passing on the right is permitted when the way ahead is clear. Option C. Passing on the left is permitted when the way ahead is clear. The correct answer is Option C. Passing on the left is permitted when the way ahead is clear. Question 9. Which of these statements is true about changing lanes? Option A. You only need to turn and look over your right shoulder for lane changes to the right or left. Option B. Look over your right shoulder for a right lane change and your left shoulder for a left lane change. Option C. 
Vehicles with two outside mirrors do not have blind spots. The correct answer is Option B. Look over your right shoulder for a right lane change and your left shoulder for a left lane change. Question 10. When you see this sign you Option A. Are approaching a railroad crossing and should prepare to stop. Option B. Will always stop at the upcoming railroad crossing. Option C. Should stop and wait for a signal before crossing the railroad tracks. The correct answer is Option A. Are approaching a railroad crossing and should prepare to stop. Question 11. You are approaching an intersection at the posted speed limit when the signal turns yellow. You should. Option A. Slow down and proceed through the intersection without caution. Option B. Speed up to cross the intersection before the light turns red. Option C. Stop before entering the intersection if you can do so safely. The correct answer is Option C. Stop before entering the intersection if you can do so safely. Question 12. Which of the following blocks the smooth flow of traffic? Option A. Slowing down to look at collision scene. Option B. Avoiding unnecessary lane changes. Option C. Using public transportation instead of your vehicle. The correct answer is Option A. Slowing down to look at collision scene. Question 13. Which of the following factors affect an individual's absorption of alcohol? Option A. Weight. Option B. Height. Option C. Intelligence. The correct answer is Option A. Weight. Question 14. When backing up. Option A. Look through the rear window. Option B. Press hard on the gas pedal. Option C. Rely only on your rear view mirror. The correct answer is Option A. Look through the rear window. Question 15. Fatigue increases the risk of Option A. Missing an exit. Option B. Being late for an appointment. Option C. Falling asleep behind the wheel and crashing. The correct answer is Option C. Falling asleep behind the wheel and crashing. Question 16. This sign means Option A. You should slow down and move to the right lane. Option B. Stay in the right lane if you're driving slower than other traffic. Option C. Slower traffic must exit on the right. The correct answer is Option B. Stay in the right lane if you're driving slower than other traffic. Question 17. When driving in work zones, you should. Option A. Increase your speed to get through the zone as quickly as possible. Option B. Reduce your speed and be prepared to stop suddenly. Option C. Maintain your normal speed the whole way through the zone. The correct answer is Option B. Reduce your speed and be prepared to stop suddenly. Question 18. You want to make a right turn at an upcoming intersection. You should slow down and Option A. Move toward the left side of your lane. Option B. Avoid driving in the bicycle lane. Option C. Signal for 100 feet before turning. The correct answer is Option C. Signal for 100 feet before turning.
Question 19. This red and white sign means Option A. You have the right of way. Option B. Let cross traffic pass before proceeding. Option C. Cars on the right move first. The correct answer is Option B. Let cross traffic pass before proceeding. Question 20. An orange and red triangular sign on a vehicle always means Option A. The vehicle has the right of way. Option B. Slow moving vehicle. Option C. Shoulder work ahead. The correct answer is Option B. Slow moving vehicle. Question 21. A person may legally ride in the back of a pickup truck when Option A. The sides of the pickup bed are at least 24 inches high. Option B. The back of the pickup is covered with a camper shell. Option C. In a secured seat and while using an approved safety belt. The correct answer is Option C. In a secured seat and while using an approved safety belt. Question 22. When driving at night on a dimly lit street, you should Option A. Drive slowly enough that you can stop within the area illuminated by your headlights. Option B. Turn on your high beam headlights to better see the vehicles ahead of you. Option C. Keep the instrument panel lights bright to be more visible to other drivers. The correct answer is Option A. Drive slowly enough that you can stop within the area illuminated by your headlights. Question 23. Which of these statements about drugs and driving is true? Option A. Any prescription drug is safe to use if you don't feel drowsy. Option B. Even over-the-counter drugs can impair your driving. Option C. Only illegal drugs can impair your driving. The correct answer is Option B. Even over-the-counter drugs can impair your driving. Question 24. You are approaching a green traffic light and traffic is blocking the intersection. What is the best thing to do? Option A. Partially enter the intersection to establish your right of way. Option B. Don't enter the intersection until you can get completely across. Option C. Continue into the intersection and wait for traffic to clear. The correct answer is Option B. Don't enter the intersection until you can get completely across. Question 25. When you are behind a motorcycle, you should Option A. Be ready to use your horn. Option B. Drive more slowly. Option C. Allow a larger following distance. The correct answer is Option C. Allow a larger following distance. Question 26. When you see this yellow sign, you should Option A. Always stop at the crosswalk. Option B. Stop at the crosswalk until a crossing guard signals you to go. Option C. Be prepared to stop if children are in the crosswalk. The correct answer is Option C. Be prepared to stop if children are in the crosswalk. Question 27. Yellow lines separate. Option A. Traffic lanes on one way streets. Option B. Traffic moving in opposite directions on two way roads. Option C. A lane barrier between regular and carpool lanes. The correct answer is Option B. 
Traffic moving in opposite directions on two-way roads. Question 28. When being passed by another vehicle. Option A. Brake hard. Option B. Maintain a constant speed. Option C. Speed up. The correct answer is. Option B. Maintain a constant speed. Question 29. There are two traffic lanes moving in your direction. You are driving in the left lane and many vehicles are passing you on the right. If the driver behind you wishes to drive faster, you should. Option A. Stay in your lane so you don't impede the flow of traffic. Option B. Drive onto the left shoulder to let the other vehicles pass. Option C. Move into the right lane when it is safe. The correct answer is Option C. Move into the right lane when it is safe. Question 30. This red and white sign means you should. Option A. Stop and check traffic both ways before proceeding. Option B. Give the right of way to traffic on the road you wish to enter or cross. Option C. Keep a steady speed and check traffic both ways. The correct answer is Option B. Give the right of way to traffic on the road you wish to enter or cross. Question 31. Should you always drive slower than other traffic? Option A. No, you can block traffic when you drive too slowly. Option B. Yes, it is a good defensive driving technique. Option C. Yes, it is always better than driving faster. The correct answer is Option A. No, you can block traffic when you drive too slowly. Question 32. If your cell phone rings while you are driving and you do not have a hands-free device, you should. Option A. Answer the call because it may be an emergency. Option B. Let the call go to voicemail. Option C. Check the incoming number before answering the call. The correct answer is Option B. Let the call go to voicemail. Question 33. When you tailgate other drivers, drive closely to their rear bumper. Option A. You can frustrate the other drivers and make them angry. Option B. Your actions cannot result in a traffic citation. Option C. You help reduce traffic congestion. The correct answer is Option A. You can frustrate the other drivers and make them angry. Question 34. You are driving at night on a dimly lit street and using high beams. You should dim your lights when you are within 500 feet of Option A. A vehicle approaching you from behind. Option B. An oncoming vehicle. Option C. A sharp curve or hill. The correct answer is Option B. An oncoming vehicle. You should dim your high beam headlights to low beams when you are within 500 feet of an oncoming vehicle. Because when driving in close proximity to other vehicles, high beam headlights can be blinding and cause a temporary loss of vision. Question 35. The driver ahead of you stops at a crosswalk. What should you do? Option A. Cautiously pass the vehicle at 10 mph or slower. Option B. Stop, proceeding only when all the pedestrians have crossed. Option C. Change lanes, look carefully, and pass the stopped vehicle. The correct answer is Option B. Stop, proceeding only when all the pedestrians have crossed. Question 36. 
The below sign indicates Option A. Merging traffic, entering from left. Option B. Warning, left lane ends ahead. Option C. Warning, one-way road ahead. The correct answer is Option A. Merging traffic, entering from left. Question 37. If you are about to be hit from the rear, you should not. Option A. Release your seatbelt. Option B. Brace yourself. Option C. Press your head against the head restraint. The correct answer is Option A. Release your seat belt. Question 38. Drivers must use their seat belt. Option A. Unless they are driving a vehicle built before 1978. Option B. Unless they are driving a limousine. Option C. And failure to do so will result in a traffic ticket. The correct answer is Option C. And failure to do so will result in a traffic ticket. Question 39. If you park facing uphill on a street with a curb, set the parking brake and Option A. Turn the front wheels toward the curb. Option B. Turn the front wheels away from the curb. Option C. Leave the front wheels straight. The correct answer is Option B. Turn the front wheels away from the curb. Question 40. Which child would require a child passenger restraint system? Option A. A 9-year-old who is 4 feet 10 inches tall. Option B. A 10-year-old who is 5 feet 3 inches tall. Option C. A 7-year-old who is 4 feet 8 inches tall. The correct answer is Option C. A 7-year-old who is 4 feet 8 inches tall. Question 41. If you must park your vehicle in an area not usually used for parking, Option A. Park with your reverse lights on. Option B. Make sure your vehicle is visible to drivers approaching from any direction. Option C. Park 5 feet from the curb. The correct answer is Option B. Make sure your vehicle is visible to drivers approaching from any direction. Question 42. When a school bus is stopped on the road ahead to load or unload children, you must Option A. Come to a complete stop until all the children have left the bus. Option B. Come to a complete stop until the red lights stop flashing and the stop arm is withdrawn. Option C. Change lanes, drive slowly, and pass the bus cautiously. The correct answer is Option B. Come to a complete stop until the red lights stop flashing and the stop arm is withdrawn. Question 43. The below sign means Option A. Beware of heavy vehicles ahead. Option B. Steep hill ahead. Option C. Warning sign for draw bridge ahead. The correct answer is Option B. Steep hill ahead. Question 44. This sign means Option A. Right lane ends ahead. Option B. No right turn. Option C. Side road to the right. The correct answer is Option B. No right turn. Question 45. You must notify the DMV within five days if you Option A. Sell or transfer your vehicle. Option B. Fail a smog test. 
Option C. Get a new prescription for lenses or contacts. The correct answer is Option A. Sell or transfer your vehicle. Question 46. This sign means Option A. Do not enter. Option B. Stop ahead. Option C. Road work or maintenance is present. The correct answer is Option C. Road work or maintenance is present. Subscribe to our channel for full test videos and visit our website for cheat sheets and practice tests to help you easily pass the DMV written test.